Thank you guys for watching again on this video where we continue with Ernie Lewis here. So he is going to explain now further about his court case. So here is Ernie Lewis. So Ernie, now we left off where you were in court where they were saying it was a constitutional matter. So can you explain now a little bit further from this and plus what they are saying about the boundaries, which one is federal and provincial and all that. Can you explain a little bit of that? I was in court on January 26 at 2 p.m. And as I uh, was ready to make my argument, and they said, no, we're not uh, going to argue this. The court is now put off until February the 28th at 10 a.m. in the morning. This is a federal uh, matter, so it went right into the federal court. It uh, bypasses the provincial court. So any time that there's going to be appeal on this case, it would have to go into the Supreme Court of Canada. As I explained to the prosecuting attorney and the judge that this is already been augmented on time before and that the uh, best way to explain it is the boundary level uh, here in Manitoba. Uh, if you take a look at the map, you can see how the boundary goes. The uh, federal government's responsibility to the people of Canada they are the ones that monitor the boundaries. And that if you're living in Winnipeg, you're in the municipality of Winnipeg, in the province of Manitoba. Federal government has nothing to do inside that boundary. And, and so in my, in my research, I have came across documents pertaining to that matter is that the federal government cannot even collect federal tax from us because we are we didn't go outside the boundary to earn that income in that particular case I'm totally different from the citizens of Canada because once I cross that southern border into United States, the J Treaty kicks in on my behalf. I have proven to the U.S. government I'm more than 51% blood quantum. Uh, and so when I come back into Canada, I have to cross over into Manitoba. It is the boundary of the federal government. And mm -hmm. so when we talk about the U.S. boundary for people uh, on this uh, uh, this uh, uh, quarantine act, Ontario and Saskatchewan's boundary, they are cherry picking what boundary they're going to use for the quarantine act because Ontario is a federal boundary, Saskatchewan is a federal boundary. So they're picking and choosing what boundary they're going to use. So to me, if you're going to apply one boundary, you have to apply it to all boundaries. You can't cherry pick the constitutional law that where they are coming from. And, and this is where the problem lies because the federal government has infringed on our rights as people living in Canada and so I urge to pick up the Charter Rights and Freedom and you will see right in there where I'm coming from because the supremacy of, of, of God is our spiritual tool to practice what spiritual laws we have whatever denomination we choose. Correct. And the next statement 
in the prior foundation of Canada is the uh, rule of law. The rule of law is that the federal government, the provincial government, the municipal government is not supreme law. The law is the one that where we originated from. And it's been in effect for a long time. So uh, as an individual, we have our rights and our rights cannot fringe on the rule of law as the, uh, the quarantine act has stated. So it opens up a whole can of worms now. It has to be confronted in front of a judge because the federal government is not going to listen to us. They're there is to destruct, to, to, to take away your resources so you cannot go against them. And that is now, that is how me and Luis, where, where me and you found that was at the Conway Trucker, uh, Freedom Trucker, or Freedom Conway 2022, that's where we found. And, and this story, it got more and more interesting, and and it still it keeps going. But Ernie, I have quick one more question. Where are you going to go from here, or what it is, what you're going to do from here? My friends, from Sault Ste. Mary, Ontario, from the reserve I come from, went across the border on the weekend and came back into Canada. They have the arrived CAM app, fully vaccinated. They did the rapid test before they came back into Canada. And when they got to the border, they are now requiring them to do another test and to quarantine for another five days. And to So me, basically this injection, this two shots, of COVID-19 still didn't help because no. now we have to quarantine again. Right. So what they're telling the truckers get all vaccinated, they're still going to have to go quarantine again. Right. So basically this is from our own government we get played for. And what, Louis, what would you, or Ernie, what would you want to say to the truckers what are out in Ontario right now in Ottawa? I am behind you with 100%. And I would say that, you know, to occupy that position, don't go off of it. But I would also say- Stay peaceful, what you be, mean? Be peaceful and listen to the people that are directing the traffic, the, 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 uh, the businesses in that area that we are talking about. All their products had came from a truck to their store. That's correct. And that they are still out there operating. So do not stop that process of blocking them off is to keep those businesses open. You know, as in my particular position now, I have been off work since, uh, January 17th with no income coming in. And now uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing at this particular point. And I've already ca called the uh, U.S. Customs to relocate down there so I can work uh, without any hassles from my own government. Very good. Thank you very, very much, Ernie, for, for that whole statement and for everything uh, guys i would really like you guys to take this video share it if somebody has any idea any knowledge of anything please forward the email on my youtube channel you guys will find my email address on there send me an email i'll forward it to Luis. so uh, then ernie is going to be the one contacting you that way we can get so that way we don't give up all the in, uh, information uh, on everything but please like and share this video let's share the video that we can help ernie in this case 
And guys, thank you very much for watching.